Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's questions and answers. This one is, what's the best way to create vegans? Now, um, there's many, many different ways why people become vegan and there's many different things that um, inspire people to actually make that change. Um, I personally think leading by example is the best thing to do and the best way to be just generally in life. But um, I've interviewed quite a few people and quite a few vegans over over the years since I've had Viva La Vegan since 2005. And there's many different reasons why people say that they become vegan, but there's a few ones that stand out that are oft repeated. Um, one of them is the, the documentary called Earthlings that Joaquin Phoenix um, actually narrated. And it's an emotive experience. Um, you will probably cry, you will probably not be able to watch it fully um, the first go. But it's one of those things that you really do need to see, even if you are already vegan, just to remind you of what actually happens and what actually exists in our world. And these things still do happen. Um, I call vegans the, I, I call earthlings the vegan maker because it, it, it really is. Um, whether people are vegetarian or not even vegetarian, they sometimes, in a lot of cases, just with watching this video, can become vegan overnight. Um, that's amazing. And um, also, um, there's quite a few books, A Diet for a New America, John Robbins, I believe, wrote that, um, has been often mentioned by people that I interview, and other books um, in a similar sort of idea of um, this is what actually happens in animal agriculture or animal industries. And it's quite shocking, especially, you know, in the 80s or 90s or when it was released, that people weren't really aware of these sort of things. Now I think a lot more people are aware um, and it's just getting it to the people that need, that need to see it, I guess. Um, I also think, you know, um, you can, there's, there's just so many things that you can do in this world. Um, it's just using your talents and your skills to promote veganism um, in whatever way you can. If you work online, do online things, create websites, write blogs, share stories, share photos, share quotes. Um, if, if you're a teacher, bring something into the curriculum, you know, um, bring some food that people can try in daily snacks with you when you're teaching or for for when you're walking around doing um, lunchtime duties or whatever. You know, if you're a lawyer, you can, you can teach people about animal law, um, create a course. Um, if you're a writer, write a book, compile recipes, um, tell a story about a vegan superhero, um, write some children's books. Um, if, there's just so many things that you can do. And I guess the only limits your imagination. Um, and I guess the best way to create vegans is um, many, many different ways. Um, like I said before, it's leading by example. I've been vegan for over 16 years and I found that over the years, just recently I'm getting emails and calls and that from people that I met over 10 or so years ago and now they want to instill more healthy um, lifestyle choices and um, a few of them have become vegetarian, some even vegan. So that's quite exciting for me. But it wasn't an overnight thing. And some of these people were quite apprehensive at, um, towards the idea at the beginning. So sometimes people, you know, not, not everyone's on the same life path. Not everyone is in the same stage of acceptance or change that you or other people are. Um, when I became vegan, I just knew it was the right thing to do. Um, I felt it was the right thing to do. I became vegetarian when I, you know, fully made that conscious connection between life and death. And um, then I stopped eating animal products. And the more that I found out um, about about veganism, because I didn't really know what it was, and I didn't want to support any industries that hurt animals. So then I became vegan, and it was quite simple. It's just. I don't think there's a one size fits all sort of thing or a one way fits all mentality. 
Um, there's, if you think about the people you know and all the different passions they have, they all have different things that they, they are interested in, things that actually enthuse them. For example, you can be talking to someone about gardening and they, they have, you know, great tomato plants or, you know, the eggplants are just cut into bloom or whatever. You can talk to them about veganic gardening. If there's someone that's really into bodybuilding, you can send them some links about, you know, Billy Simmons, the bodybuilder I've interviewed on my website, and some other athletes, and some other people that are doing extraordinary things um, in regards to health and um, fitness that, that, who are vegan. Um, if someone's interested in food, you could show them how to make some amazing vegan raw cheeses or some, some other vegan products and take them to your local Asian um, restaurant that sells fake meat, of all things. Um, if someone's into activism, if someone's into the environment, take them along to a rally, uh, send them some links on some information. You know, um, it's just finding that aspect that you connect with someone it's that aspect we all have there's always something um, that you share with someone and it's just finding it's just finding that out and I think and like I said above anything be consistent be genuine keep at it and lead by example and I hope that you really got something out of today's question and answer please subscribe and I will see you next week